family of Lisa Edwards says the body camera video showing the 60-year-old being detained was, quote, absolutely disgusting. Edwards died at Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center earlier this month, and yesterday, as we showed you, we got a look at that video released by Knoxville Police. She was arrested on trespassing charges when she refused to leave the hospital. An autopsy determined that Edwards died of a stroke hours after collapsing in the back of a police cruiser. Tonight, we spoke with Lisa Edwards' family about her and the incident. Her daughter-in-law tells us the situation should have been handled differently on all sides and that the video shows clear signs of Edwards having a stroke. Absolutely disgusted, sick to my stomach the whole time and, and for hours upon hours afterwards. Um, it, it, I mean, being a family member, obviously it's hard to watch. Being a registered nurse, it's extremely hard to watch, you know. Um, and on multiple occasions, you know, the, people keep saying things in, like in the video and uh, Blunt Memorial Hospital, you know, saying that she was faking things like I, I honestly, I mean, I am a registered nurse, so I am educated in recognizing things, but I don't think it takes a medical professional to see that she did not have use of her left side. I, I don't know how somebody can fake that kind of di disability and um, especially like, you know, the atrophy to her muscles on the left side. You can't fake that. I know if we would have treated her like they treated her, we would be locked up right now. Or if I treated someone the way they treated her, I'd be in jail right now, headed to prison. These officers, they may not be medically trained, but, and I don't know exactly what their policies are, but I mean, you don't have to be a medical professional to know what the signs of stroke are. And you can see that in her you know, start to finish her speech is com completely changes from start to finish. It is important to note that since Edwards died of natural causes, we're told there will be no criminal charges filed against the Knoxville police officers involved. Fort Sanders Regional has now released a statement after what happened. It says in part the hospital has been in contact with Ms. Edwards' family and expressed our sorrow soon after their loss. Although we cannot comment on specific details, patients are not discharged from the emergency room unless they are stable, end quote. As of now, there is no lawsuit filed against the hospital or KPD.